One particular demonstration that I do love from this year's lectures is um, <laughs> one that involves fire as a pyrotechnician. That is my love. Um, but um, when we were going through the script, we were trying to decide what would happen at the point where fire came into human evolution and how it, um, it obviously led to us being able to cook meat and food and that led to difference in our digestion and nutrition, which affected how we, how we evolved. And so what, what we wanted was some way for fire to just appear in the lecture theatre. So I did a little bit of research and I found, <laughs> in fact, I didn't find, I'd always wanted one, um, that there's like these handheld fireball launchers you can get. And, um, and what it is, is it's just simply, there's like two barrels, we've got a two barreled one just in case the first one didn't fire. And they've got like little heated elements. And so you stuff in flash cotton, you push a button, which takes you know, electricity from the battery, and it heats up this heated element, heats up the flash cotton, and just the force of that expanding shoots it out. Right? And by itself, it's, it's, it's OK. It's a bit of a party trick. So I then took it one step further, and I thought, maybe we get letters that spell the word fire. So it's fire full of fire lit with fire. And so in the end, I ended up getting these metal letters. And then I ended up using acetone because the fuel I needed needed to um, be volatile, but not so volatile that it would lead to a big, a big cloud of fire. I needed it to evaporate enough to light, but not evaporate so much that the fire it produced would be too big. Um, and it ended up that acetone was just perfect for this. And then I link the letters together, which you might be able to see in the lecture, just with a little bit of flash cotton, so the fire could jump from one letter to the other. And, um, and so I loaded Alice up with her handheld fireball launcher in the wings, and all she had to do was push the button and aim it at one of the letters, and then the whole thing would become a light. And, um, and it worked really well, actually. It was much more easy to do in reality than it was in my head, so I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that one. By a million years ago, our ancestors had controlled fire. And with fire, they could do all sorts of things.